Hello, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about piecewise function. So you've seen that a lot in our real life scenario. Um, so what is piecewise function? Let's go back to our early example. The letters, the cost of the letter in the post of postal office. So if the way is not over one ounces, the cost is going to be 58 cents. If it's not over two ounces, it's going to be 78 cents. If it's less than three ounces, it's going to be 98 cents. If it's less than 3.5 ounces, it's going to a dollar and 18 cents. Right, so this is the piecewise function. So how do we do that? So we know that the price equals to 58 cents if the weight is less than, oh, not equals to zero, sorry. Less than one ounces, right? And we know that the price is 78 cents if the weight is in between one ounces, two, but not including one ounces, because if it's one ounces, they're going to charge you 58 cents to two ounces. And the price is going to be 98 cents if this is in between two to three ounces. And the price is going to 1.18 cents is a flat weight, even though you are in between the numbers. So that means if this is over three ounces, but less than or equals of 3.5 ounces, they're gonna charge you a dollar and 18 cents. So this thing is called piecewise function. If we want to write it in the piecewise function, it's gonna look like this. 58 cents if the weight is in between $1. So 78 cents if the weight is between one to two it's going to be 98 cents if the weight is in between this if it's three dollar to that so in this form it's called piecewise function when you how to comprehend it so basically it means that part all right so now think about what other real life scenario we will have piecewise function. You know that. The taxes, right? The tax bracket. They will charge you maybe 10% if you pay under 3000 They will charge you 12% if you pay between 3000 to 4000 And they will charge you, I'm not charge, I'm sorry. You need to pay like... 15% of taxes or 20% of taxes if you make more than 10,000, something like that. So this is another example of a piecewise function. So in general, a piecewise function is a function in which the formula used to depends upon the domain the input lies in. So we noted the function something like fx equals to the first formula which is if the domain, if domain to use the first formula, and then if the domain for the second formula, we may have different, dom different domain. Go on, go on, go on. So they might have up to n function, n formula. Okay. All right, so here is the example I'm going to show you. <clears throat> 